Yeah, I'm gonna go on up to the five. Use that uh, auto dark over there. Don't get no BBs on my phone. I wanna, where's that wire wheel at? I wanna wire wheel it, just see what it looks like. Oh, I'm just gonna put my hood down. It's filling it up. Let me see a rod. So we're using these, these are five mil, 8010 P1 Pipeliner, 8P plus. We use that for the hot pass. No, we use 532 for the hot pass. Now we're using these five mils for the fill and then we'll use one for the cap too. So if you're, uh, you know, obviously you have to share the video while it's live. Can you hear me? Am I connected? You got to share the video while it's live if you want to get prizes today. Uh, make sure that we can tell that you shared the video. If your privacy settings are on private, then you need to take a screenshot and send it to us in, a, in you know, a messenger or whatever. But it's probably going to be like um, 20, 20 to 25 flashlights we're going to give away. Give away a few two-hole pins, those braided two-hole pins over there. And then we're going to give away a uh, two-night a two night stay down to, to come down for the uh, open house, 400 pounds of crawfish. Welding machine. We're going to be giving away some ESOB welding machines. I'll, you know, it's a high school competition. You can win a full scholarship. Last year, somebody came down from Wyoming, I think it was. A girl flew in from Wyoming to come to participate.
guess everybody that works. I don't know. Go ahead and wire wheel this. Can you get that for me, Austin? Like I said, we're going to be giving away a bunch of flashlights. A bunch of flashlights, two hole pins, two nights stay at the, uh, to come down and be a part of our open house. I have to run a strip down here where it's sagging. Give me a 532. I'm gonna go ahead and run this strip so that when I come back down. Hey, turn it down to. Uh,
Ka you know, as you're welding this, as you're welding this, as you're coming down, you're fighting gravity. So there's more of a half moon circle like this. And as you get more on the vertical side of things, you can kind of do a little more half moon, but you have to be pointed up a little ways like this to be able to carry that metal. You don't want the metal or the slag to get in front of the puddle in the direction that you're going. So there's a little bit of, you know, watching the puddle manipulation, seeing what, what works best. And on different size pipes, different manipulations work better. So it's more or less, you're just doing it from, you know, sight. You're reading the puddle whatever works and then you know there's all kinds there's circles there's half moons there's zigzags there's all kinds of different you know ways to do this to keep that puddle above your rod the circles on my side. all right well go ahead on your side i think we'll just for time reasons we'll just uh cap this top half fill it and cap the top half of the pipe So we're giving away a bunch of stuff today, a bunch of flashlights. These tungsten holder flashlights is a flashlight and a tungsten holder all in one. We're giving away these braided two hole pins. We're gonna be giving away a two night stay down here in Mobile, Alabama for our uh, March 16th is our open house. May, May. I mean, May 16th, I'm sorry. May 16th is our open house. We're gonna be doing a lot of 400 pounds of crawfish High school weld competition. Long arcing. You got a really kind of long arc to get it to spray out there. We're going to be giving away a bunch of stuff. If you want to win or have a chance to win, you need to share this video to a group or to your page while we're live. If we're not live anymore, it doesn't count. And go ahead and start picking, you know, posting your number, 1 through 100. Share this video and post your number, 1 through 100, right now. For everybody that's just now tuning in, we're doing some 30-inch, 60-10 downhill. 80-10 downhill. Austin's just doing a circular motion as he's going down. Somebody said the auto darkening lens is terrible. Well, it's better than, than no lens at all. You also got to remember, with us doing arc shots and stuff like that, for us to get a high dollar lens up close to this, would mean for us to get all that BB spatter on our lenses and stuff like that. Uh, we're just, we're going to have to do with what we got, the auto darkening lens and some other little thick shade gold tins or whatever. But on this circular motion, <clears throat> what I'm doing is I'm coming down far enough to where I'm, when I circular back up into my puddle, 
I'm, I'm in my metal that I've already put down there. When I come down, I'm tying into the bead. I'm watching the bead, watching the puddle, not letting it. Knock the flag off of it. I'm not letting that puddle roll over on top of the bead. Where's the wire wheel at? So this is just our field pass. We'll be capping it on the next one. Just make sure you point that rod up to keep that metal, the arc force pushing that, the, the puddle above you. And if you're just now tuning in, we got a surprise next week, and I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it might it might have something to do with welding, underwater welding, sand, underwater welding, and sand. That's our surprise for next week. I'm not going to I'm not going to try to tell you exactly what's going to happen, but you know the beaches are open. Hey, you want to see, check this out, this Black Mamba TIG rig. It's lightweight, feather light, super flex hose, lifetime warranty. Get one while they last. Custom leather, custom leather handles. You can have your name put on there, whatever you want. These things are nice. We're not saying they're going to last a lifetime. We're just saying when they do bust, you'll get a new one. Nobody else offers that. Check them out at scotsmantools.com. He's going to weld to about 9 o'clock over there, and then we'll go ahead and start capping this thing. Like I said, if, if you want a, a chance of winning, you need to share this video while it's live, and you also need to pick a number, 1 through 100, and post it in the comments. If you can go ahead and prove that you shared it in the comments, then that would be good too. I get to a point to where you can't hold the whole puddle above you and you just have to come back and do a strip like I did. If it's going out like that, that means that slag's falling in front of the puddle. Hey, is this your lens right here?
just it. yeah, just keep that puddle above your above the rod. If it if you see something going underneath your rod, you need to go faster. And if you got to run a strip, then that's fine. You gotta point that rod more up into the puddle, like the angle. And long arc it. Use that arc for it to your advantage. Yeah, there you go, that's better. There you go. That's it. Thank you for the water, Nick. Is it getting hot? Alright, we're going to go ahead and do the giveaways for the flashlights, so make sure you share the video right now. Make sure you share the video while we're live, and you pick a number 1 through 100. We got these flashlights right here. It's a flashlight tungsten holder, and the back end screws off, and you put your tungsten in here, and it's a flashlight, a 2 in 1. So share the video. Write your number, 1 through 100. We're going to give 20 of these away. The first 20 people to comment, God is good, get a flashlight. First 20 people to comment, God is good, get a flashlight. Make sure you share the video and, and comment God is good. If you're not sharing the video, you don't get it. You got to share the video while it's live or you don't get the prize. All right, so the first pass we did on this 30-inch was a 1.8-6010 P5+. Plus. The hot pass was a 5.32 Eighty ten, eight p plus. The first fill pass or in last fill pass were five mil, eighty ten, eight p plus. Hey Austin, you want to wire wheel it? Now I'll go ahead and start. Uh, I'll cap it on my side. Well, we'll see how the one bead turns out. I'm going to run one. That's a lot of metal to carry. Five mils of welding rod. Make sure you share it while it's live. The first 20 people to comment God is good. Get one of these tungsten holder flashlights. Also, we're going to be giving away some other things like a two-night stay down here in Mobile. Might be at the beach. Might even go ahead and make it down at the Gulf Shores or Dolphin Island. We're not sure. 
But if you want to come down here for our open house on May 16th, we're going to have 400 pounds of crawfish. We're going to have giveaways, welding machines. It's our annual open house. We're going to have a high school welding competition. We welcome anybody in the U.S., anybody in the world that wants to come. You can come down here and compete. If you win, you get a full ride. If you just compete in the competition, you're going to get half off your tuition, half off. If you, so if you're welding in high school right now, you need to come to our school May 16th. Share the video. Pick a number one through 100. You running strips right now? Yeah, he's running some strips. We call that stripping. This is how welders strip. Yes, we ground the bead. There was a question. Did we ground the bead? Yes, we ground the bead. That cameraman ground. He was he was our helper. First year apprentice helper. Black Mambas. This TIG rig, this will be the last TIG rig you ever own. Lifetime warranty. Feather light. Super flex. We got them on our website. Probably be running a special this weekend. 10% off or something. You need to go get you one. Try them out. 250 amp. Super light. Did you get my side? Oh wow, it's way up. Here, you want to tell them about the school, Austin, while I'm uh, welding? Yeah. All right, so you have your gear out there, third gear, it's a range, just say the range is zero to 100, and then you have your box right here, and it's 10 or zero to 100 percent of that range. So if you're 100 if you're percent of zero to 100, you're, and you're at 100 on your box, on your remote, your fine current, you're at 100 amps. An old TIG rig. Get you an old TIG rig that's busted, make it into a, a, a stick wheel. Alright, as Trey goes to attempt to put a one bead cap on there, he'll be toting a lot of metal with this this pass right here. So we'll see how it turns out. Um, you can always add more metal a lot easier than you can taking you know too much metal off. So we usually go with the safest outcome. If we need to put more, we put more on it. Uh, some of the great things about our program <clears throat> is if I can get the camera guy to look right over here at our CGIA. 
This is our Central Gulf Industrial Alliance. This is a whole bunch of companies that have come together down here in the Gulf and just kind of made it a lot easier for upcoming welders and people that don't have 10 years of experience to come out here and get, you know, kind of beginner jobs with some of these bigger companies that pay really well. You know, at our program, we do, we have a 95% placement rate. Now, I'm not saying that we find you a job and get you hired on like that. We give you job leads. It's still up to you as a welder to go take the weld test, pass the weld test. Once you do that, that's all you. All of that's in your hands. All we can do is give you the, um, the weld leads. We can't go take the weld test for you, but one of the great things about being at Alabama Pipe Welders Academy, even as a graduate, you can come back and practice for a weld test. Um, we have lots of graduates that do. They'll be maybe on a job that they just done, you know, TIG welding for the last three, four months, and they're about to go take a test. It's a combo. Um, well, they can come back and practice up on their stick welding while they're here. That's a lot of metal to tote. If y'all have any questions, y'all feel free to, you know, comment in so we can answer them. Seeing the close up right there, he's keeping his rod angle in front of his slag puddle and watching his solid puddle right, right be behind his rod as we're coming down. Um, with gravity, you start fighting that liquidy slag, it wants to start to roll down in front of you. You can see how Trey's well adjusting his, his stick angle to keep in front of that puddle. He's pausing on his edges. Make sure he gets a good bead tie-in, a good cap tie-in. Y'all really got to come check us out. <clears throat> uh, May 16th to our open house. Uh, if you like crawfish, we're going to have 400 pounds of those things to eat. Uh, we'll be cooking them all day long. They'll be fresh out the pot and be ready to go. <clears throat> we'll be doing a lot of giveaways. Uh, we'll be doing some Esau welding machines we'll be giving away. And come and uh, take part and watch some of these high school kids do a little welding competition. Uh, first place is going to get a free ride scholarship, but every junior or senior that... Uh, comes and participates in our program. We'll make sure they get a They'll get something good out of it, too For the eight-week course, I mean for the 16-week course, it's um, $13,000, but we have you know payment plans you can pay by the week you can take a loan you can get a grant scholarship so it's affordable. We make it affordable. Some people are coming to school here for, they pay a percentage out of their paycheck every week. So it's a good deal. We try to work with the guys. What's your other question, Nick? Uh, the lead he's using looks like, what, 
kind are they, or, or where can I get them? Also, is that stinger only good for pipe? This is a T300 Lincoln, uh, uh, you know, it's not insulated, so you have to be careful with it. The, the cable I'm using, I don't even know, it's lightweight. I've got 200 foot of it on the back of my truck. I think it's uh, either two, I think it's AWG2, so it's not, you know, I'm not doing this every day. I got this in my truck for demos and, you know, little jobs around the school and the house and stuff, but uh, you're going to need a bit, a little bit bigger uh, weld cable if you're going to be doing this for a living, so. Again, if you're just joining in, or you didn't hear us earlier, uh, we're going to be doing some giveaways. Um, we we'll be doing a set, couple sets of two-hole pins. Looks like we're going to be doing a pipe welder's Bible. Hey, I'm going to tell y'all what, this thing right here has got, got over 30 different weld tests in it. And that way you can reference back and see good settings, good ways to set up the pipe. And uh, it's a very informational book. I, I suggest everybody get one and keep it on you just, just to be fresh on what you know. Um, we are doing the, um, the, the tungsten flashlight combo giveaways. We're gonna weigh 25 of these. If you'll share the video and comment, God is good, we'll be giving away 25 of these. Uh, for our other giveaways, I need you to share the video while we're live. Pick a number between one and 100. And the, uh, see, if we're doing five giveaways, it'll be the five closest people to Trey's number. And uh, you can comment and make sure your settings are where we can see it or take a screenshot and post it in the comments one or send it to us on Messenger. I am going to do a two bead cap. I would do the 532. Do the 532. Grab the mic for you. Hey, is the mic connected? Yes. How's it? Can everybody hear us? Where you want to be at? All right, so we got a 1972 SA200 welding this 30 inch. We're amateurs, though. I mean, one of the, one of the best welders on the market. That's a 1972 SA200. When I bought that, I found it in a barn in Mississippi for about $1,200, and I redid the whole thing. Added the, it probably had 10 hours on it. I added the um, automatic idle, the remote, and redid the added new uh, high performance brushes. The thing runs like a charm now. So we gave away all the flashlights. The first first 20 people. To share this video and comment God is good got a flashlight and tungsten holder in one we'll go ahead and do the second giveaway which is going to be these braided two hole pins these are chrome braided two hole pins so if you're you know that just helps they're they're made for uh, pipe fitting but a lot of welders need to use them you know if they're fitting up something So we're gonna do the we're gonna give away 
We'll give away 10 sets of these. Yep. All right. This is a braided chrome two hole pins. We'll give away 10 sets since it's Friday. We probably won't be giving away much next week. This might be our last day to give away stuff. I don't know. First 10 people to comment. You got to have shared our video while it's live, but the first 10 people to comment. Alabama Pipe Wheelers Academy open house is May 16th. You have to comment. Alabama Pipe Wheelers Academy open house is May 16th. You had to have shared a video. Yeah, don't forget to share this video. If you didn't share the video and you're trying to win, you're not going to be able to win. You got to share the video either to a uh, group or to your page or somebody else's page. And for the big giveaway, we're going to do a two-night stay down here in Mobile for the uh, open house. So where you could come stay the, fifth, the 15th and 16th. And that way, you know, if you're coming from out of town and you want to compete in the high school competition, you will have somewhere to stay. So make sure you uh, share this video and pick a number one through a hundred. Comment it below. We need a helper. We need somebody over here to wire wheel this. Both sides. Oh wait, Austin's got it. Here, show them about this workforce development program we got going on. This is the CGIA, Central Gulf Industrial Alliance, Southern Company, Chevron, Floor, Zachary, Ingalls, Maccabee, Brown and Root. So all these companies came together and they endorsed training facilities like ours. And we got a gold level achievement. And that goes off the quality of our instructors, the quality of our students. They'll call the, they'll call some of these guys that hired our students and ask them, you know, how do they like uh, our students? And if they get back a bad review, you can't get a gold can't get to gold level so we got a hundred a hundred out of a hundred on this review so it's a good deal these guys will hire straight from our school Ingalls comes in here and they'll use our test facility we're actually in the test facility right now but they'll use our test facility as a testing unit and they'll come over here test our welders make them job offers the same day so it's a good place to be 95 percent of everybody that comes to this school gets a job in pipe welding And next week, we got a surprise for you. It might, the surprise might have something to do with underwater welding and sand. Maybe some bikinis. You know, they did open the beaches. Anybody know, anybody here know what Crab Island is? Anybody here ever been to Crab Island? Uh, 
I'm not, no comment on the coronavirus, but the beaches are open, and we have a welding machine, and we like sand. You want this arm pad? Go right there, there's a charger right there, just plug Somebody it in. Asked, what kind of lens is that? What kind of lens is the lens? Oh, I don't know. I don't even know what what kind of lens is that, that he's using to, for the camera? Some some cheapo? Yeah, just some Yeah, just some kind of cheap auto darken lens. Nothing special. Yeah, we might be out at Crab Island doing some live videos next week. I'm not saying we are, but I'm not saying we aren't. <laughs> there is one thing I want to I want to point out. There is one thing I want to point out. Are you videoing right now? You see this you see this light right here? That kills coronavirus. That's one thing I got to say about corona is that that bright light right there, the UV radiation from it kills it. I feel safer here welding than I do at home. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Two pass cap. How, how many feet of cord comes with the Mamba K Berry? Oh. It comes standard with 15 foot. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> 